so 11th class uh, i am starting the revision of final term examinations okay and i'll be revising each chapter starting from the list your syllabus for the term 2 is list tuple dictionary boolean algebra number system and cyber safety chapter okay i am repeating once again list tuple dictionary then cyber safety chapter chapter of boolean algebra and your number system right so starting from the list i am revising this chapter once again list refers to the ordered collection of different type of elements and closed in square bracket right the elements can be of integer type string type float type right so it is a mixed collection of elements which are enclosed in square bracket like i am giving the name of the list as a and uh, in the square bracket i have collection of these elements right yeah this is my list a simple list i have created in front of you it has total six elements out of which uh, some are integer some are float and some are of string or character type clear got it and when i print the list with the name a the list get printed in this manner a refers to the name of the list right clear now i have another list with the name b and i have these elements 5 comma 6 comma 7 this is another list which i have created in front of you so i am going to concatenate these two list together concatenation means the plus operation the joining of two objects together but when you are doing the concatenation operation it is very much compulsory that both the objects must be of the same type a plus b a is of type list b is of type list so i can merge them i can concatenate them and the result is both the list get combined together first of all elements of a will be appearing then after the elements of a b list elements will be merged at the end of the a list am i clear up till here all of you so if i am concatenating a list with some integer it is not possible in python because the concatenation rule violates here clear so this is not a valid expression and it will result into an error because you cannot concatenate a list object type with a simple integer so here python indicates an error then coming to the next operation that we can perform on the list is replication replication means repeating multiple number of times the object the object values get repeat number of times okay a into 2 replication operation is denoted by asterisk it means twice the elements of a list will get repeated so this is the result okay a list is 1 2 3.5 a and b 4 and then second time also the same list gets repeated am i clear to all now here in the replication you cannot replicate an object with another object in the case of replication it is must that both the <coughs> one of one expression must be an object second must be an integer if you are going to combine replicate two objects of same type together python will generate an error right then i have another list with me 
I am saying elements 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. 10 elements I have taken in the list. As per the syntax of list, the first element takes the index 0. The first element takes the index 0. Second element takes the index 1. Third element takes index 2. Likewise, the last element will be having index n minus 1. If total length of list is 10, the last element index will be 9. If total elements are 20, the last element will be having index 19. Why 19? Because the index starts from 0. It is always n minus 1. Clear? Now, if I say L of 1, by L of 1, I mean second element that is 12. If I say L of 5, it means the sixth element that is 16. Okay? Am I clear to all? If I say L of 9, uh, sorry, L of 9, it will print 20. But if I say L of 10, then Python will generate an error. Which error? Index error. Because 10th element doesn't exist here. 10th means 11th. And my size is 10. Right? Now, as all of you know, list is a mutable data type. List is a mutable data type what i mean by mutable so many times you have studied this topic what are your views when we say list is a mutable data type who will answer this question yes devanshi unmute yourself sir uh, mutable means that we can change the element of the list we can change the element of list in place at the same location where it is already residing. Okay. Like suppose I have L bracket 2 equal to uh, 21. So L of 2 element, that is the third element, get replaced by 21. The earlier value is 13. Now it get replaced by 21. And if I print the list here, you can very well check the third element, which was earlier 13. Now it has been replaced by 21. So assignment is possible in list. As list is a mutable data type structure. Am I clear to everyone? Now the next concept is we are to check whether any element exists in our sequence or not. I say 14 in L. Oh, sorry. 14 in L. True. Why true? Because 14 element exist in our list L. So it is true. In is a membership operator. It checks for the availability or the existence of any member in the given list. Clear to all? Now, if I say 22 in L, 22 is not existing in our list. So the result will be false. If element is existing, in operator will give true. If element is not existing, in operator will give the result false. Reverse is not in. If I say 14 not in L. If element exist, not in will give false. If element does not exist, not in operator will give true. It does the reverse operation of in operator. If I say 22 
not in L. Yes, it is true. 22 is not residing in our list. So result will be true. All clear up till here. All the basics are clear for the list chapter. All right. Now proceeding to the next concept of our list. That is the slicing of the list. What do you mean by slicing? In general terms, if some layman ask you about the meaning of slicing, how can you define the word slicing? What are your views about this word slicing? Why always the same hand? Why not other participate? Today I will unmute myself the child and he or she will answer. Yes, Gurjot, unmute yourself and tell me. Now I will take the name and the child will unmute. Don't raise your hand. Gurjot Singh, unmute yourself. He is not in the class. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. You tell me the meaning of slice. Sir, uh, a portion from a uh, full tuple or uh, list. Yeah. A portion or a piece or a pie. Yes, a sir. A chunk that we pick up from the main group. Okay. So I have the name of the list, two colon six. Now slicing has starting point, colon symbol, ending point. Third parameter is number of steps. By default, we move one step. By default, we move one step. You can change the number of steps. You can go in the forward direction. You can go in the backward direction by giving the negative indexes. But right now, I'm explaining you the forward movement. Later, we will be discussing the backward movement. Now, as per the slice, when we are giving the sub slice, the sub part, that is the slicing, we are doing the slicing, a, a lower range is inclusive. Lower limit is inclusive, but the upper limit is not inclusive. It is always one step less, one step back as uh, from the higher range. Ab yahan pa 2 or 6 diya. It will include 2, 3, 4 and 5. Not 6. It will be higher limit minus 1. So as per the given slice, my elements will be 21, 14, 15, 16. Okay. Starting from the 2. 2 means 3. 6 is the higher limit and it will go n minus 1. So it will go up till 5. Now I am having 2 colon, uh, sorry, 1 colon 7. 1 colon 7 means 1 is included but 7 minus 1 up till 6. So starting from 12 till 17. Starting from 12 till 17. Okay. Check out the index of 17. Starting from the first element taking 0. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. As I told you earlier that the indexing is always n minus 1. Right? Clear? So, when we say 17, when we say 7, it is minus 1. It is not touching 7. I hope this point is totally clear into your mind. All right. Then, I am giving now a different type of slice. I will be discussing it. I am not giving the lower limit. But I am giving the upper limit. When lower limit is omitted, 
by default it starts from zero the very first element right so lower limit is not there starting from the very first element 11 12 21 14 15 16 17 18 okay 8 means 8 minus 1 7 up till 7 it will go now i am saying 4 colon now i am omitting the higher range when higher limit or higher range is omitted the ending range is go up ending range be kehte it will go by default till the end of the sequence okay apart from list what are other sequences in python apart from list what are the other sequences of python don't raise hand divanshi i will unmute the child myself other people they hardly participate yes yuvraj 44 old number unmute yourself hanji sir hanji sir nahi aap mujhe iska answer bataiye sir tuple tuple okay uh, dictionary dictionary is not a sequence but uh, beta sequence kisko kehte hain string tuple list these are three sequences okay hanji sir all right so four is the starting higher limit is not given ending range is not given it will go up till the end of the list okay if i am not giving neither lower neither upper it will print the entire string sorry list neither lower has been given neither upper has been given it will display the entire list now what about this structure who will explain the meaning of this 2 colon 8 2 first parameter is the starting range second parameter is the ending range third parameter is the number of steps Yes, Arshdeep Singh, roll number seven. Unmute yourself. Yes, sir. Yeah, please tell me the result of this expression which I have typed better. Uh, 21. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Skipping the adjacent element. Skipping every adjacent element right okay now tell me the result of this minus five oh sorry minus two colon minus five whenever we have negative indexing we are moving backward we are moving backward the last element which is at n minus one having the last positive index will be the element having the first negative index. Is my line clear to everyone what I want to say? The element having last positive index will be the one having the first negative index because negative indexing starts from the back side, from the last and it doesn't begin with zero. It begins with minus one right minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 minus 6 minus 7 minus 8 minus 9 and minus 10 so if you get confused with the negative indexing don't worry add the length of string to obtain the positive index length of list is 10 10 plus 2 8 10 plus 5 
टेन माइनस फाइव फाइव ओके क्लियर एम टी लिस्ट इट इज एम टी लिस्ट वाई सो हु विल टेल यस समृद्धि क्योंकि एट जब हमने लेंथ ऐड की तो इसका आंसर आया एट कॉलन फाइव तो सर बैकवर्ड तो जाएगी नहीं लिस्ट ऐसे यस माइनस वन स्टेप ऐड किए बिना वेट 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 डोंट डोंट अनम्यूट योरसेल्फ माइनस फाइव कॉलन माइनस टू नाउ नाउ टेल मी सर इसका आंसर है सिक्सटीन सेवनटीन एटीन सिक्सटीन सेवनटीन एटीन वेरी राइट वेरी गुड सो आई होप स्लाइसिंग इज क्लियर टू एवरी वन नाउ आई हैव अ क्वेश्चन फॉर यू आई हैव अ लिस्ट लेटर्स विद द वैल्यू ए बी ओ सी and p uh, yes mayank you want to ask something come on the video first if you have any queries come on the video and discuss your query this is the list a b o c p okay uh and the question is what would be displayed in python shell for each of the following expression if they are evaluated in the order if there is some error tell the error the first expression is letters minus 1 letters bracket minus 1 what will be printed here uh kavya unmute yourself Yes, sir. Uh, what will be printed? Letters minus one. Sir P. P. Very right. Very correct. Uh, mute yourself, please. P. Because minus one means the last element in the list, the backward indexing. Okay. Next is letters. bracket length of letters minus 2 who will tell this length of letters minus 2 uh, let me unmute the child yes harsh vardhan sir 3 3 3 will be printed थ्री कैसे प्रिंट होगा बेटे प्रिंट प्रिंट होना है थ्री तो उसका इंडेक्स बन गया ना फिर एम आई राइट लेंथ ऑफ लेटर्स इज फाइव फाइव माइनस टू इज थ्री देन लेटर्स ऑफ थ्री थ्री इज द इंडेक्स सो इट विल प्रिंट सी वेरी राइट हर्षवर्धन सी क्लियर एम आई क्लियर टू ऑल ऑल राइट देन सेम क्वेश्चन लेटर्स टू कोलन फाइव कोलन टू टू कोलन फाइव कोलन टू वॉट विल गेट प्रिंट टू कोलन फाइव कोलन टू uh let me unmute uh, gur sirat unmute yourself gur sirat please unmute yourself yes sir what will be what will get print over here 2 5 colon 2 sir o o 
only o yes sir check out once again you are to go one step less than 5 that is 4 and skipping every adjacent element yes sir are you sure it is only o yes sir japan jodh what are your views unmute yourself where is japan jodh gone japan jodh raise your hand please japan jodh can you hear me yeah please unmute yourself and uh, tell me your views Uh, am i audible to you clearly but you are not audible to me yes sir yeah yeah now you are audible yeah please uh, tell me sir. your uh, so o p o p o and p o is at 2 leaving one element p index of p is 4 4 is less than 5 so it is o and p okay all right now tell me answer of this uh 2 colon minus 5 colon minus 2 2 colon minus 5 minus 2 yes please Who will tell? Minus है तो index add कर लो. Yes, Riddhi, unmute yourself. Sir, it will print O A. O and A. Minus five में five add किया zero. Two colon zero और negative step back है. letter o uh, yes arman arman raise your hand you were there yes what are your views arman sir so, 2 colon 0 hoga to empty list nahi aayegi step backward hai uh letters to colon minus 5 colon 2 ab batao to colon minus 5 to ye to bada simple hai isme to clear answer ek hi answer hai isme to yes uh, uh, divanshi sir <coughs> empty list empty <coughs> very right very correct empty list okay uh then i have letters plus y letters plus square bracket me y Yes. Uh, summary D. Sir, existing list me y add हो जाएगा. Existing list me y add हो जाएगा. Okay, append हो गया. Right? <coughs> Am I clear to all? All right. uh then the now start methods of list length method everybody knows is used to find the length of the list the sequence okay so length is 
five. Length is five, right? Then our second method is we are to find the uh, second method we revise is your list method. Using the list method, list constructor, we can convert any object into list. Like suppose I have uh, a string s equal to Aditya, I say L equal to list of S. Then I print S. Check it out. I initialize a string S with word Aditya. And I use the list function or list constructor. Whatever object you pass inside this list function, it get converted into list and stored in some variable. Okay. So string ko list may convert kar diya. Then I have a tuple 1 comma 2 comma 3 and uh, I pass this inside a list. The tuple get converted to list. Okay. Got it? The use of list function. Then next we have is index method. You using the index method, you can find the index of first matched item. I say L dot index of T. L dot index of T. You pass any element of list inside the index method, it will print its concerned index. So T ka index kya hai? 3. Ye rekho. 0, 1, 2 and 3. Am I clear? All of you?